by Bridges. Foul on Jokic. Down goes Payne in the cross. The face, and here we go. Collins and Jokic start jawing here. He is not afraid to stick his nose into any scuffle. You can see the emotion. They understand how important this game is. And Jokic, oh no! No! What's up, Mike here, and headed into this year's playoffs, we had several guys who had chips on their shoulders, who had something to prove. Multiple players fit into that category. Giannis, Embiid, Jason Tatum. Out of those three names already, one of them has been eliminated from the playoffs. One of them is facing serious injury concerns. And the other one, how are you losing to the 76ers without Embiid? That is a tough life. What is not a tough life is what Nikola Jokic is doing right now. Headed into this season, Nikola Jokic was already a two-time MVP. That meant Let's be honest, let's be honest with ourselves that he was in Steve Nash territory. We do not care about giving out an MVP in that very season to a player who does not win a championship or to a player whose team might not be the best team that season. But already, look back at the MVPs given to James Harden. Look back at the MVP given to Russell Westbrook. Look back at the MVP given to Derrick Rose. For being honest with ourselves, nobody seems that happy with those MVPs. You know, with Steve Nash, it feels like his two MVPs are counted against him because he never played in the NBA Finals. So going into this year's playoffs, it is without a doubt in my mind at least true that Nikola Jokic had the most to prove and the man is just proven it. So my question to you is, do you think it's possible to identify a player who can win you a championship before they actually go and do it? If I had to pick anyone right now in this year's playoffs, I'd pick Nikola Jokic to bring me a title. I'm saying it because today I want to dive into Nikola Jokic's playoff success. So first we are going to dig into last night's box score. KD, 10 for 27. Aiden, what is going on? One for seven for campaign, 0 for five off the bench for Damian Lee as well. Well, here though, KCP and who's doing it for the Nuggets? Big boy Jokic, 30 shots, 39 points. That is the efficiency of a playoff star. The way that we're going to be able to identify a playoff star in front of us is watching the film. So 59, 55 Phoenix, four and a half left. As we've got shades of Lonzo, missing him, missing the boy. So it's here where I think we have the perfect combination. We have a guy who has something to prove in Nikola Jokic, but also we have a guy who believes in himself on that level mixed with a competitive psychopath, I believe, as we see. To end the third quarter, Jokic over Biombo down the stretch of this game. Nikola Jokic made the tough ones. And again, DeAndre Aiden is just lost. DeAndre Aiden, where's the dog in you? Nikola Jokic pulled up Tom, pointed to the ring. So what do we take from this? Some other things I want to draw your eye to. First of all, first half, KD, four for 13. When in the second half, six for 14. And in the second half, who lost it? It was their bench. Fourth quarter, also Dev. Not the best two for eight, but Cameron Payne gets up four shots. I don't know about it. Meanwhile, again, KCP from the corner. He's automatic. You bet 10 years of your life on a KCP corner three going in in a clutch moment. If you miss, you lose those 10 years. But if it goes in, $50 million, 50. My answer is no. Here is where we are getting a bit more serious, where I want to just dive in to the Denver Nuggets in Nikola Jokic's first ever all-star season. Here's where I'm just saying the body of proof is here for Nikola Jokic. 2019. We see Jokic take down the San Antonio Spurs. So in 2019, while Kawhi was leading the Raptors to the championship as Spurs fans were not feeling the best, as you could see, 23-year-old Jokic against a veteran duo, DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge. With Rudy Gay, Jokic put up 23, 12, and 9. And we do have a Jamal Murray dagger along with a Nikola Jokic game-winning assist. Here we have the Nuggets also. they are, There was also a very, you know, epic collapse. Epic collapse is on. We need a bucket. Who? Jokic with credit for that assist? I don't know about it. More like Jamal Murray, the hero. Oh, more importantly, though, give him credit for the 2019 second round against the Blazers, man. Jokic, 27 points, 14 rebounds, 7.7 assists. Are we kidding? Now, the series against the Blazers did include several close moments for Jokic. The Nuggets could have taken this one, but ultimately, what I'm trying to do here is set the stage for essentially a hero's type of journey, really, for Nikola Jokic. By the way, guys, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications, because if you did not know, I'm doing the biggest giveaway ever to celebrate 
celebrate the launch of Coors Light, we are giving away a VIP experience to game four of the NBA Finals. Plane tickets, a room, incredible seats, it is all included for game four of the NBA Finals for one lucky person who is subscribed to Coors Light. The winner will be picked on June 1st. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and turn on post notifications for Coors Light. Good luck. I cannot wait to pick the winner. This is going to be incredible. As a young star in the NBA, Jokic was carrying his team on a level that other young stars just are not doing. So we have incredible 2019 playoffs. And we're just moving one season up to the 2020 playoffs where we have an incredible run. And we have the Jazz versus the Denver Nuggets in what was Jamal Murray versus Donovan Mitchell. 50 point versus 50 point trade-off explosion game type of deal, right? But let's look at the overall series stats here. Who was the constant? We know. We know it was the boy Jokic. 22 threes, made three threes a game. Most importantly, why does he not get credit for closing out a playoff series? Let's watch the end of the series. Here we have the ending of this game, and you may remember that everyone was absurdly gassed. Look at the score. These guys were scoring 50 points every single game individually. It's 68 to 68 with no fans. Here we have Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, still Gobert, still a chance, still a chance at the two of them. Maybe they're able to, you know, get their relationship going, but no. Why? Because Gobert, thought you were defensive player of the year, big body. Here we go. Where are they going? The guy that was scoring 50? Um, nope, Jokic. But end of the day, where are they going? Where are they going? Floating. In 2021 and 2022, we don't need to get into those series. We can look in the stats to end this video. But in those two years, in 2021, Jokic did not have Jamal Murray, who is a max salary player and the guy that was giving him 50 here. In 2022, he did not have Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr., the guy that was giving him 50 and the guy that gives you a consistent 20. Suddenly, 47.5. What is this? Rudy Gobert dunking on people looking tough? Plumley, I don't know about it, man. Jokic back in the game. On Gobert. Where are we? Where are we? Come on. Come on. That's a win a playoff series. Game seven. Jokic has everything to prove in that, right? He is that MVP guy, but I do not think in any way he is full of fake stats. I think in every way, he is the real thing. So let's watch though, as Anthony Davis embarrasses him. Bubble AD was different, right? I mean, 31 points on 54% shooting. Jokic only 21.8 here, 7.2 rebounds, five assists. AD took it to him. We have what was the pivotal game here, which was going to be a game two. So to set the stage, here we have Anthony Davis, splash, eight point Lakers lead. Jokic has a chance to really be that guy. Let's watch him try. Come on, come on. Right away, right away. Not playing around. Now we have 96. LeBron slipping. Jokic, he's there. He's so ready. I got to find something to scream other than bang. But where are we? This is a man who has it. It's a man who has it. Now, Bubble AD was just different, man. Pausing right here. That is Jordan. That's Air Jordan. We're going we're gonna to say we don't believe in this man. Let's see. Just making Anthony Davis look like a child. Two seconds left though. Look what, I mean, how are you supposed to? Uh-oh, he tried his best. He tried his best. Instead, Bubble AD was on one man. But you know what? I think last night we saw it. If I had to bet it all again on one player going forward, it would be Nikola Jokic. I think we are watching what could be a run. I think the Denver Nuggets as a playoff team have just been slept on in general. They've been doing it. They've been a constant force in the playoffs. I think the Denver Nuggets are taking this. I think that this is Nikola Jokic's year. I'm ready to watch true greatness unfold. It's watching Steph Curry last season when we did not expect that really going in. Jokic has that same opportunity. So do a lot of players. But again, if I was betting it all, it would be on Jokic. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, subscribe, turn on post notifications. That way you are entered for a trip to game four of the NBA Finals. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know. It. As always, have an awesome day. Cue that. Well, I'm making a PB and J. Yeah, but it's textbook. I mean, look at the peanut butter to jelly ratio. There's no crumbs. And I only used one knife. That's a nice sandwich.